Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Manny Collector Flight Stands by Mattel. Now I did not own a single flight stand for my action figures and uh, every single one of them were essentially grounded uh, to either the display shelf or a table or anywhere where my uh, action figures were not able to get off the ground to either fly or leap. And on Cyber Monday of 2010, or Cyber Week, uh, Mattel, uh, through MattyCollector.com, uh, were selling uh, their reissues of figures uh, that were uh, long sold out previously. And along with some of those figures, uh, they did sell uh, some other items such as display bases and uh, some flight stands here. Uh, they were selling the flight stands for, I believe it was $12.00. For a set of three stands and I went ahead and ordered a set just to try them out and as you can see here they arrived and uh, you can see also that my action figures are eager to try it out and uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and try these out on uh, not only DC uh, figures but uh, Marvel figures as well to see how well they they work and uh, as you can see in the box here, I'm not sure if you can read the uh, the print there, but it does say flying stands for 6 inch figures. But I'm hopeful uh, that uh, it's not just for flyers, but also for leapers as well. And also in the fine print, it does say that stands may not work uh, with some figures. So. I guess we're going to have to try them out on uh, at least each of these figures here to see if they work well. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back and uh, we'll give this uh, a try. Okay, uh, we're back and my action figures are eager to try this out. Uh, but uh, they are at the staging area at the moment. And first I wanted to at least uh, show you the contents of the... Uh, box here and uh, as you can see uh, each stand uh, was individually uh, bagged and it did come in several pieces it, it came with uh, the base here the vertical stand and these uh, three clips uh, the uh, vertical stand just snaps into the base uh, relatively easy on there at the bottom and uh, these uh, three clips are of three different sizes which is kind of neat I guess for different size figures or uh, if you want to clip it on to uh, different areas of the figure I guess and uh, we'll take the biggest one for uh, now and uh, basically uh, each of the clips has this uh, uh, clip on the end and uh, you just uh, go ahead and uh, stick it into the uh, vertical uh, stand there and just clicks into place and uh, you can actually rotate this it's on a ratchet type joint there I guess for different uh, positions on there and uh, we'll go ahead and try this out on each of the uh, figures I chose figures that had different, uh, I guess, configurations to their design. Uh, you have uh, flyers with a cape, uh, flyer with a wing, or uh, a Marvel uh, leaper or uh, on here, and uh, a Marvel flyer, and also a uh, flyer uh, through technology. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give it a try on each of these figures and see how well they do. Okay, uh, first up we have uh, my favorite action figure here, the Killer Moth. So he gets first dibs. And uh, this is a flyer with wings. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give this guy a go. And uh, let's go ahead and pull this off here. And we'll try the largest clip first and see how well that, that goes. Hopefully it'll uh, clip well. Uh, looks a little loose on there. So let's try a different size clip on there. Uh, this one might be a little too uh, 
No, this one's just right. Nice and uh, tight there, and uh, I have it uh, on the lower torso there. And uh, hopefully this will work. Uh, I'm not sure about these wings, if they might get in the way. Let's give that a try. Uh, now he's off the ground, uh, not very high off the ground, and uh, these stands uh, you're not able to adjust onto the uh, height on here. It's fixed height on here, so I guess uh, we can go ahead and uh, make him... Uh, let's try a, a hovering uh, pose here, and uh, I'll see how, this, how well this works. And it works uh, fairly well on there. It's uh, pretty nice as a hovering pose there. On there. So it's uh, not too bad. It's not too high though. Uh, at this point, as you can see, he's barely off the ground there. So, uh, that's, uh, fairly well. Let's go ahead and try, uh, a different, uh, position here. Clip this on the front. And see if he can do a, uh, vertical pose. Or horizontal, I should say. Give that a, whoops, give that a try here. Uh, for this kind of pose, you really need to have a, the head uh, articulated uh, upwards on there. So, otherwise, you're going to have to angle it at, at a little bit on there. can see on there it's not too bad but if you have it uh, horizontal there his head needs to to point upwards and hopefully uh, the Iron Man uh, figure will uh, do a little bit better on there so uh, and let's go ahead and give Iron Man a try here uh, with a uh, vertical pose here and see how well that does. Uh, his head uh, is a little bit better. So it's not too bad. Articulation is alright. Doesn't impede the articulation too much. So it's actually uh, pretty nice there. It's pretty cool. On there. Let's try a different pose. It's a uh, pretty guy. Uh, pretty cool on there. Uh, this does, uh, even though it's a uh, sort of a clear type of plastic, it still uh, shows up uh, on there. Maybe let's try it this way. I guess that's a little bit better. It hides the uh, stand a little bit. Not too bad. It's just uh, not quite high enough. Uh, it's a little short. I wish they would make uh, this vertical part of the stand a little bit uh, higher for flyers. Uh, it might be a little bit better for uh, leapers and we'll try it uh, with Electra here. Let's uh, do her try kick type pose. And um... This one's a little loose, so I have to try a smaller clip on here. 
Let's try that one. It's actually uh, quite nice for leapers. Oh, this one doesn't stick too well on there. So it's actually not too bad uh, on there. It's just the base is not uh, well hidden. It's a lot of mass on there. So you have to get around that. So it's not too bad. On there. And uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try on soups here. Uh, this one's obviously uh, too small. And uh, soups here has a cape, so we'll see how well that works. The cape. And. Um, Figures that have these rigid capes, I'm not sure will do uh, too well because uh, the, some of the figures I have, uh, the capes are very close to the uh, to the back. So that might not fit well on there. This one is uh, okay, not too bad. Can't really arch the back though with that clip and the uh, cape on there. So. And, um, try that on there. It's okay. Like I said, it's a little short on there. And if you want to, <laughs> I guess if he was uh, being attacked with a blow type of thing. <laughs> being uh, sh shot back. <laughs> on there. The uh, cape though does get in the way with the base there so it's unfortunate. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give it a try on uh, Green Goblin here and see if it works with uh, his glider. I'm hoping this will work. Let me just put this, I should have put this guy on the glider before I did the video. Okay. Give this a try. Now this is just way too heavy. And the clip uh, may be a little small. Let me try the smaller clip. No, that one's too small. Looks like it just has to stick with the medium one on this guy here. And he sits rather loosely on there. <laughs> A little too short. Uh, the glider is still uh, hitting the ground on this uh, particular uh, figure. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, just uh, a little too short on there. I just wish it was a little higher off the ground on there. It would have been uh, perfect on there. Uh, this is a... Uh, well, uh, I'm going to get, uh, see if I can try other stands. Uh, this one's a... a pretty basic stand a little short and I'm going to give uh, other stands a try I've seen on YouTube uh, I guess uh, JRA Nightmare uh, uh, make some stands I'll see if I can contact him 
And I'm also going to try out the Whipple stands as well to see uh, how those uh, fare. But uh, this is my casual peek into the uh, Matty Collector flight stand. Uh, it's an adequate stand. Uh, it does get in the way a little bit though uh, sometimes. But uh, uh, it, it is, uh, like I said, pretty basic. Uh, but this is my casual peek into the Matty Collector flight stand. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.